Hey Facebook and YouTube, it's me, Crazy Honda Chris, and here behind me, we're going to be going over the 2021 Honda Ridgeline for tips and tricks. I'm going to show you those cool features and functions you may not be aware of that's going to impact your daily driving that much more, all right? If you guys have any questions, drop them down below. Give me a call at 319-540-7307. Crazy Honda Chris is always a phone call away. And once again, if you like this video, you know what to do. Show your support by hitting like and subscribe and drop a comment down below and share this with a friend that purchased their new Ridgeline. All right, so let's go walk it. All right, so now imagine those really hot summer days, you guys about to go out to your car, you know, it gets really warm in there, it gets all stuffy. How cool would it be in advance before you walk out the building or even, you know, get to the car, you can roll down the windows and let it air out. I'm gonna show you how to do that from the key fob. Let's go show you. All right, so we got the key fob now, right? You're from a good distance here. You just hit lock twice, all right? Double tap, unlock, and hold that button down. You have to hold it. As more, you, as long as you hold it, it will keep going. If you stop holding the button, it's going to stop in the process, all right? So now we have all the windows open. We also have the power moonroof open. So there we go. It's all going to ventilate now, all right? Now on the back of your key fob, you have a nice little switch here, okay? Pull that open, and you get the nice little key out, all right? So now you can roll up all the cool windows with a click, click, and hold. Windows, power moonroof, all that's going to close right up for you, okay? Now, if the key fob ever dies for you, you can take this key, just kind of unlock it from that point. You can get in and out, get your belongings from there, all right? So that's the cool little key fob trick 101. All right, so it gets a little challenging sometimes to back up into a parking spot or just backing up into the garage, whatever you're doing. Did you know when you put your truck into reverse, depending on the mirror selected, one of your side mirrors would tilt down to catch more of the bottom for you? Let me show you how that's done. All right, so in order for this to work, you have to select a left or a right mirror, okay? So right now I have it in the middle, okay? You got your left, you got your right from that point. So let's say it's in the middle. I put this into reverse. Nothing's going to happen. None of these side mirrors are going to adjust. Now, what you can do is I'm going to slide this over to the left mirror and watch this. Tilts right down. I can catch a little more of my blind spot towards the bottom and focus on how close I'm getting. And then if I switch it to the right, look at that. That's going to tilt down. The other one moves right back. So there you go. A little bit of help parking right there on how close I'm getting. All right, so imagine you guys get a cover in the back of this truck, okay? Now, imagine you open that up, the tailgate, throw out all your supplies in there, I don't know, golf clubs, you know, tools, stuff like that. Whatever you're going to be doing for your outdoors adventures, all right? As life happens. Now, you come up, you open this up, look at that, it opens, okay? What if I told you there's a setting, so when you hit lock on the key fob, that when all the doors lock, that locks as well. I'm going to show you how that's done. Follow me. All right, so we just got the vehicle started up. We're at the home menu. First thing you want to do is go to settings. Vehicle, you can only access this, the vehicle settings when the car is in park. Door setup, we're gonna scroll all the way down to tailgate power locking, and then we're just gonna enable it. So now every time you hit lock on the key fob, that tailgate's gonna lock from that point, and that's easy. All right, so this is a very common situation for me. I always forget about this, all right? So I'm running out getting supplies all day. So I get there, I arrive, I get my key fob with me, right? I shut off the car, I walk out to this place, right? So here I go. I get about, you know, it doesn't hit me until I get all the way inside, right? I'm in there shopping. I'm like, holy bejeepers, did I lock my truck? I don't know. So I had to run all the way back out there, get this key fob, and hit the lock button. How cool would it be once you walk away 10 feet from the car and it automatically locks for you? I'm going to show you, all right? All right, so right now we're at the home menu. We're going to go to settings, select vehicle. You're going to go to keyless access setup. Right here, we're looking for the walk away auto lock feature. So we're going to select that. We're going to enable. So every time you leave the car while taking the key fob with you, the doors will lock. All right, if you accidentally leave the key fob in the car, you cannot lock your keys in the car unless you take the second key fob out of your pocket or wherever it's at and hit lock. That's the only way it registers that you're purposely locking a key in the car. So there we go. Every time you're walking with your key fob, your doors are locked. You know with confidence that your car is all locked up to see what your belongings are safe. All right, so imagine we just got done going out somewhere, you know? The family is with me. Friends are with me. It's raining. We're running out to the car. We're all getting over here, and they can't get in, right? 
Well, I put my hand in the handle, only locks my door, their door stays locked. How cool would it be if the all doors unlocked? I'm gonna show you how that's done so everyone can get in and out. All right, so as usual, we're at the home screen now. We're gonna go to settings, vehicle, then we go to keyless access setup, and then we got door unlock mode. From there, we can select all doors. So now every time I put my hand in the handle, all the doors are gonna unlock. If you wanna switch it back to driver only, just come back, repeat the process, and select driver only. So there we go. All right, so we're on the road right now. Man, this is a game where I really want to have an update on. You know, it's one of my favorite teams, okay? So imagine you got a serious accident, you're driving down the road. Wouldn't you like notifications when your team scores when something happens in the game? This is how you do it. All right, so we're at the home menu at the moment. We're going to select settings. We're going to select audio, Sirius XM tab. Right down over here, you got your sports, flash, settings, favorite team. Then you also have the interruption beep. So we're going to turn that on. So as I'm listening to music, stuff like that, it will interrupt me. Select what I want from that point. I don't know. Let's pick one right here. There we go. Let's pick the Braves. So now every time there's an update for the Braves, I'm going to get a nice little beep. It's going to tell me about the update. Now I'm always in the know. There we go, guys. So as we're out and about and need a little how-to video, we just want to see what Crazy Hunter Chris is up to. Whatever the case you're going to be using the internet for, you have the internet browser on here, right? Let me show you where to find that app. So as you're back at the home screen, you're going to side swipe over here. You got this nice little mark right there. And there's your internet browser, all right? Now, to connect to your internet browser or use the internet, you're going to need a Wi-Fi hotspot. I have already connected to my hotspot from my phone, all right? Let me show you how to turn that on and how to access that here. So we're going to go back to the home menu, select Settings, Bluetooth, and Wi-Fi. You get Wi-Fi on-off status. Make sure it's on. If it's not, just select it and then select on from that point. And we have your... Wi-Fi network list. So there it is. I found myself. I connected it. Crazy Honda Chris. Now I'm all connected. Good to go. And then I can just go right back here and get back updated on what's the most current video here. All right. Make sure you guys use this wisely and don't get distracted on the road and stay safe out there, please. So you can customize your touchscreen too as well. So maybe I use the navigation a lot. Maybe I don't. Maybe I want to use my phone, my settings, wherever the case is, you can reorganize this. All you have to do is click and hold this and swap it out from that next point from there. And there we go. Now from a quick point of reference, I'm on the fly. I can choose what I want first. All right, so we can change the color of you guys' background here, the buttons, all that cool stuff. So all you have to do is go to settings. Of course, as usual, go to systems. Then right here, background color. Select that. Then you got all these different color options here between those four options to select from there. You know what? We're sitting in a red truck. We're going to make it red. There we go. Hit OK. And then there it is. That easy. All right, we can also customize your wallpaper down here, okay? So I already downloaded a whole bunch of photos here of the kids, some random stuff right here on this smallest flash drive ever, all right? So all you have to do is just get it, plug it right in here into a USB port. Now I can download my own wallpapers from here, okay? So you can go to settings. We're gonna select system. Then you're gonna find the tab right here. It says clock wallpaper type, okay? A lot of times it's gonna take you somewhere else, probably back here in the beginning, but it says all, okay? If that's the case too as well, you can find that same tab, come all the way down here if you wanted to. Wallpaper type and clock, hit wallpaper. I have already downloaded one. I got a business card right here, but you know, if you wanna download another one that's not a problem too as well, you can do add new. Give it a second. And I got a whole bunch of random photo here of, of the kids, you know, tons of this stuff. Why wouldn't I, right? And then let's see if you find one that you like. Here's Cameron sleeping on the couch, you know, being all cute. Import that thing right there. 
And there you go. Now I'm set. I have a whole bunch of them I selected as we're thumbing through it. Preview this one, and then I can save it from that point. All right. Now, if you want to delete this stuff, it's easy as you select and delete from there. Select this one, delete. I'll select this one here and to preview. You guys get the point here. And there it is. That's how you can change your wallpaper. Hey guys, thanks again for watching my video. I greatly appreciate it. Hopefully this video helped you guys out a lot. If there's anything you think I missed or worth uh, mentioning, please feel free to drop it down below in the comments. Share that with our community. You know, it's growing every day. I appreciate everyone's support. And once again, you found this helpful, you know what to do. Hit like, subscribe. I'll keep making these good videos from that point. If you have someone that purchased one of these in the past or recently, share this with them. Hopefully that helps them with their ownership of their vehicle. It just makes it so much better for their daily driving, all right? Thank you again, and we'll stay in touch.